for CBS Brokers. Today's topic is on how to add an income approach to a traditional equity bond allocation where we're allocating a portion of the bond portfolio towards annuities and why we'd want to do that. Uh, just you know, simulating this into e-money, we found that we got a 6% improvement into the probability of success in retirement. And we had 11% improvement um, under a low return scenario as the sequence of risk scenario, which is one of the, obviously one of the greatest threats in retirement. Um, and so that improved it by 11%. And what's so exciting about that, about that is that there's so few ways to improve the probability of success in retirement without looking at um, the client's behaviors. So before we get into why annuities improve the scenario, we need to first look at to why we want to consider something other than the current bond allocation that we typically would have looked at and why today is different you know, using bonds than in the past. So the last 30 years, the interest rates have, has, have declined pretty steadily, as you can see on this chart. Um, and what that meant in over time is that with the drop in the yields, the, uh, the face amount of bonds increased in value. So we had a bull market in bonds the last 30 years. But today, where the rates are today, at 1.6 approximately on a 10-year treasury, there's not much more downside, and the correlation may change in the future. So what we've seen in the past is that whenever there was a bear market, the Federal Reserve lowered interest rates. That created a negative correlation with equities. As you can see in this chart here uh, from Charles Schwab, this was uh, the, the treasuries are negatively uh, correlated with uh, equities, but uh, corporate issuances were positively correlated. But will that continue in the future? So today, where the rates are, there's very little downside for, the, for treasuries to go, and thus very little capital appreciation. We expect that possibly the correlation will be more similarly correlated and less negatively correlated. Um, as a result of the Federal Reserve's actions, whenever bonds were zigging, stocks were generally zagging, such that the clients experienced something of a smooth ride between the two over the years. But today, I think the reality is that bonds will be more of a ballast against the volatility of equities and less, less of a, a, provide less of a return in bear markets. So income is basically expensive today, and that's not just from yields on treasuries. The truth is that even equities, the yields have declined. In fact, stock buybacks have, out, have outpaced dividends from equities since 1997, all but one year. And so you see a chart here of, uh, from, from 2015 to today, where the yield on equities have dropped by about 20%. If you go back further, where it was closer to 3.5% historically, that's just even, that, that rate has just declined even more. So that is one of the reasons why we consider annuities. And annuities aren't, so, aren't this uh, other asset class or something. They're mostly in fixed income as well. So we're really allocating from fixed income to fixed income, just using uh, the the uh, general account of an insurer to do this. So we're getting our bond exposure through the insurers. And one of the reasons we want to do that is that the quality of their maturity and the duration of the bonds they would uh, own are better than what our individual clients or would, would, be, would want exposure to, frankly, because they couldn't take the risk. But the insurer, it removes the market risk and the reinvestment risk. They have the, mat the quality and maturation of, of that would get them the dur a yield that'd be more than the client could get on their own but they do expose themselves to company-specific risk in the form of the insurer. And that's a topic for another video, but I'm fairly certain that that's, that is a fairly safe bet if you put yourself in the top 20 carriers in the U.S. for life insurance or companies. Um, if I got a quote for 65-year-old male, which I did get, uh, if I put 320,000, I would produce 16,390 on an income withdrawal rider for um, a, an annuity. And that's guaranteed for life. The 10-year treasury, if we wanted it for 37 years at 1.6% yield, we need a lump sum of 455000 versus the 320 for the annuity to produce that same income, okay? So going back to the uh, e-money, plugging the numbers in, um, under current scenario, again, we proved the, the, uh, the probability of success by 6%, and again, 11% on the low uh, return uh, uh, in retirement the first two years. It's under 0% return for two years, a 2% inflation rate, and, and with and without the annuity. So there are some things we need to understand. On um, product agnostic, one of these products we should look at, I don't care which one, is something to consider. And we used a 40% allocation to, of the bond allocation to annuities. So in other words, 40% of the bond allocation to annuities. Um, uh, the, additionally, we know that taxation of annuities are uh, earned, and earned Earnings is the income tax rates versus capital gains for, for bonds or, or, uh, 
or equities. That's why I would recommend we look at qualified accounts because you don't have that differential. And also there's no step in, up in basis on annuities and non-qualified accounts. Again, you don't have a step up in basis in qualified accounts. It's another reason to look at qualified assets as a means of funding this plan. So by looking at this and, and, and seeing for yourself, if you can, how would that plays in e-money, you can call us for help on that if you wanna know how we did that and model that. Um, we can reduce some of the market risk, inflation risk, and reinvestment risk. We reduce the drawdown risk in retirement and the low early return years, if that is scenario, if that would play out. We improve the portfolio risk reward ratio. We add a true uncorrelated asset. And finally, we reduce longevity risk. I hope you learned something. I know I did in this project. I thought it was very interesting. I spent uh, almost 20 years in the business and uh, most of that in the RAA space. And I didn't look at annuities very often, so I was very impressed with that. I hope you are too. Please look as well on the web or email us or call us if you have any case design questions or like to discuss. Them.